I'm the product manager for the PMP450 platform. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble a 450D. It's an integrated subscriber module with reflector dish. Uh, it comes in a four pack. It's a great assembly and it doesn't take more than a couple minutes. So what I have out here on the table is an assembly for one single complete unit and I'll show you all the parts and then we'll get to assembling it. It comes with the bracketry, the screws, the in internal reflector, the rear of the reflector dish and the radome, the plastic radome that snaps onto the top. So we'll separate these out as well as the bracket and the radio itself. It's a very simple assembly and we'll begin by taking out the bracket equipment. This is a great little assembly that comes partially assembled and uh, attaches to the, the L bracket here that will help us assemble this to the, to the pole. So you take these screws out as I mentioned, come pre-assembled, and then simply attach this to the L bracket. All of these things, by the way, require a single 13 millimeter wrench. Now I have two tools on the desk here to help me make it a little bit faster and more expedient, but you really can do this with a single 13 millimeter wrench. Once that bracket is attached, and we can tighten it to make it a little more uh, stable, of course. Then we can put the radio in, and you'll notice the radio has these clips in order to hold it in place while you get the assembly all together. Once that radio is on there, the next piece is attaching the rear of the reflector dish onto the radio assembly. We do that, again, align the plastic holders so that it can snap on and hold it in place while you get your screws out and, uh, and assemble. The screws come in a little package all by themselves. And these easily fit in the four holes provided. And I'll go back and retouch each of these to make sure they're secure. You could also use an M5 Allen wrench as they have that in the, uh, in the head as well uh, as an option. So it's up to you which, whichever style you like. Once this is on, uh, we need to make sure that we attach the internal reflector into the front of the radome. This is an integral part of the assembly and the product won't work as advertised unless this piece is in there. So we just simply snap that into the radome. Once that is assembled, then we simply need to attach this radome to the front of the unit. The easiest way I've found to do that is to lay this in there. there. And the, the one key piece to this uh, assembly point is to make sure there's a little arrow on the front of the radome and make sure that's pointed down. Uh, that has the, the weep holes for the moisture to allow the moisture to escape. Uh, with the radome, there's several clips all the way around and again it's a matter of getting it into there. It does require a little bit of force again but you can go clip by clip on this guy to make sure and it sometimes makes quite a, bit, a clicking noise when you get this uh, assembled. And all the clips are assembled. There's your completed unit. Um, it's all the way assembled aside from putting it on the pole. At this point, we're going to come around here to the pole. Once these uh, bolts are loosened enough, again, this has a captivated end and a, a slot end. And you can put this around the pole as such. Get it captivated in there. And then just begin tightening this. So it's on there fairly loosely now. I'm going to turn it around and we'll get a close up of this. And you can see it's aligned, like pointed slightly downward right now. But you can loosen the bolt with the slot in it and kind of make sure that the alignment is proper. So that's the completed assembly of the 450D. Uh, don't forget to visit the community where users can exchange stories and have many more experiences about Cambium equipment. Thanks.